about how to make healthy choices for the, for the students and for the teachers and for the community. That led us to think about this question. Should we have these flavored drinks, flavored dairy drinks, chocolate milk, yomos, should we have these in school? So some people said, yeah, they're tasty. Some people said, well, they are tasty, but there are other things that aren't so good about them. So we developed these arguments. We did a lot of research. Kids, how many weeks did we work on this? Three. Three weeks of research, three weeks of reading, of asking. Maybe you were asked by kids what you think about chocolate milk, what you think about these flavored dairy drinks. These are our presentations. We also have essays. We also have persuasive letters about whether or not chocolate milk and flavored dairy drinks should be served in school. So without further ado, I will take my seat. Oh, oh sorry. No, that's OK. Can you see if I sit here? Mr. Wester, you can just listen to it. So I'm going to turn off the light. Hit the light.
teachers say that chocolate milk are unhealthy because it has too much sugar in it, but it actually has lactose, a natural sugar, and it has a, a small amount of sugar in it. Even though there's a little added sugar, there's nothing compared to vitamins, which is way more important than sugar. or your observations like do a lot of kids drink three a day or do you notice they're only because it said like you only saw nine kids drinking flavored drinks but when you see them drinking the flavored drinks do they have a like a couple or how many do most kids drink at, eat at lunch would you say a flavor no. most of the I think we said like two yes, Ms. oh sorry Julie no. first and then Mr. Dunn <laughs> Do you think that if the school were to keep chocolate milk in school, that the children who are younger than your age would have the willpower to control their intake if their mom said, okay, Friday's the end of the week, you're allowed to buy a chocolate milk. Do you think that they would follow, they would be strong enough <coughs> to have that choice? Maybe for little kids like us, middle schoolers that seem to have a Do you listen to your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mr. So am I correct that um, all of you who did your research, you were researching to, to, to prove 
that what you all believe is that you should have chocolate? Did you already have that notion you wanted to be? You already believed beforehand that you should have chocolate milk, and then you went to find out why? Or did someone say, I don't mind either way, I just want to find out information and make, make, a, make, make a promotion for chocolate milk, so you found that to be the, the best way to keep your nutrients? Think back to how we started. We read what? Tell us about it. Uh, we read articles about, uh, from experts like Jamie Oliver, and um, later on we asked people and the people and, and their questions separated if they were for chocolate milk. So I mean, just before you did your research, were you already for chocolate milk? Uh, no, uh, we did it after we read a couple of, um, a couple of articles. Oh, but let me just see here. Raise your hand if you, before you did any of this research, did you did you want to have chocolate milk? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just curious. But it, was there, is there anybody up there that before you did any research or your reading, you, you didn't you didn't carry the way or you didn't even know? Okay. Yeah, I kind of you didn't, either way you were just heard some things and started to explore more.